what is up guys welcome back to a new video here on the channel in this video i'll show you how to install plugins for lspdfr plugin i'm gonna use in this video is called alpr light it stands for automatic license plate registration or something it basically detects um when you drive when you turn it on first and foremost and drive past cars, it will automatically scan the license plates. And you can see uh, an example here if they have expired registration and similar to that. And you can see here it sounds a weak beep um, when it reads and a long beep when it, you get an alert. So the installation is basically the same for every plugin on LSPDFR. You can also get the mods on. Uh, lcpdfr.com the official lspdfr website where you download the mod and then you go to script and plugins i will link this in the description below uh, for an example most downloaded and basically all of the installation processes is about the same uh, so just follow that if you got any questions leave it down in the comments below uh, els is different it's still a plugin but it's it has different uh, installation process, uh, so but I have a tutorial for that. So just check that out in the description below if you want to know how to install ELS. But for ALPR Lite, and actually I'm going to give some credit to this guy, Bejo Ijo, or whatever he's called. I think it's Bejo Ijo. Um, he makes some really great mods that are free. Um, so we got stop the ped, which is probably one of the best ones where you can ask for ID and stop peds and stuff like that. We got ultimate backup and we got some call outs and also speed radar um, and CompuLite, which has to kind of the, the immersion, if you would like to call it that, when playing LSPDFR. But just go and download your mod and then open up your uh, GTA 5 game folder or game directory. So this is what it should look like. Um, you should have some... I mean, I have already some mods here. Um, but anyways, it should have the GTA5.exe. That's the important thing. Um, otherwise, just Google on how to find your GTA 5 main directory. So you want to go into the ALPR Lite folder and you see plugins. You want to go into plugins here, or actually you don't need to do that. Just drag and drop plugins into GTA 5. I already have it installed and I'm not going to replace it um, because I have some config files and stuff, I think. No, maybe not for this mod. But otherwise, if it, they just give you the mod like this, the DLL and the INI file, and you just go into plugins, LSPDFR, and then you drag and drop it here, and then you can see you have it. So if you want to change the key bindings, you go into the .ini file. It'll open like a text document, and you choose the key to toggle. You can also have a modifier key. So shift, control, alt, stuff like that um and then right control of course and right shift and then you can do the hit probability if you want maybe more um, yeah more hits you can increase this um, and then we can get the uh, the probability that you get the registration insurance that is a stolen vehicle um and similar to that and if you, for an example, installed stop the pad, yeah, you can still change this. But the uh, stop the pad has a folder here, and you can download some third party custom questions. So basically, the questions you ask during a traffic stop, you can download third party, not made by Beijo Ijo, um, to replace the the stock ones, or the ones that come with the mod. If you would like to, to have more questions, and better questions, honestly, to, um, 
But yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. 